Hello guys, so Jerry speaking. Welcome to Just Be Ads episode number 938. And today we'll be at to Million Dollar Sharks season 2 episode 4. Be at this beginning in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, go. <laughs> One turn of a single card mm. could be worth one million dollars. From Campbell, California, it's Million Dollar Shot. Wow. And now, here's your host, the star of Million Dollar Shark, Alex Harris. Thank you very much, everybody. Thank you very much. What a kind of idea. Thank you. Welcome to the game where one turn of a single card could make you an instant millionaire, million dollar sharks. Let's open up the board and get to the cards. Wow. And there are the cards over there. They've already been dealt out. The red cards will be played by one player and your blue cards will be played on the bottom there by another. And let's introduce our two contestants for million dollar sharks tonight, which are Alex Houle and David St. Dennis. Wow. Thank you. You're welcome, Alex. David St. Dennis from Sturbridge, Massachusetts. Welcome to the show. What? That was an odd introduction there, David. Glad to have you here, David. Why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself? Uh, I am from New England, uh, 18 years old. I uh, just graduated high school this year. And, wow. Uh, Well, congratulations, Dave, from graduating high school. You've come a long way. You mm -hmm. deserve that diploma. Glad to have you here, David. Mm -hmm. Next, we have Alex Poole from Chesney, South Carolina. Wow. Great to be here, Alex. You're welcome, Alex. You were here on previous season. Yes, I was, and, and and even though I didn't win a lot of money on the last season, but but maybe tonight will be the night that you know I get to redeem myself here. We'll see what happens. Remind us a little bit about yourself, Alex. Hmm. All right. Well, I'm a huge fan of game shows, and and I just turned 32 the last uh, couple of months, and. And hopefully, so sometime soon, I can probably get, get back to work and, and find a new job soon. Well, we'll see what happens for you. Any particular place you want to work at? Well, I was thinking about like working in a different grocery store. Grocery stores are a good job, mm -hmm. depending on where you go. Glad to have your house as well as you, David. Let's play the game, shall we? Mm -hmm. All right. Each of them have a deck of 52 playing cards, which they be played the best two out of three, and the winner of a match will get $6,000, and we'll use that to play for a million dollars. David, you won the coin toss backstage, so you get the first question. We asked 100 teenage girl babysitters, have you told your mother you were babysitting when you were really on a date? How many teenage girl babysitters they told their mom they were babysitting, but in reality they were on a date? Well then, um, doing a little lie like that could be dangerous and like backfire. So I'm gonna have to say, uh, Tracy Roberts is number thirteen. Thirty-two. Mm. Yes. 32 out of 100 teenage oh, babies. 42. Oh, 42. You were cutting out that one. Yeah. 32 out of 100 teenage babysitters that were girls say that they were at some... Well, that was the second time to you on. Hey, when they told them on the babysitting house. Yeah, but I think a lot of those would probably be best to, 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 to go on their date for rather than babysitting. I think my answer is going to be higher than 42. 
You're going to say it's higher. The actual number of teenage girl babysitters say they told their mom they were babysitting when in reality they were on a date is 11. That's not higher, it's lower. David, you get the first wow. base cards. Let's see your opening base card. It's a three. Woo! Higher. Higher than a three, it's an eight. You cannot change it. No. Uh, no! That eight becomes his new base card. We can't take those cards away from him. And Alex will get the next question. We asked 100 scientists who study the future. Will the U.S. be the most powerful nation in the world? How many scientists that predict the future say yes, that the U.S. will be a powerful country in the future? Oh. Um, I think it's going to be a high number. I'll say about 60. 60 out of 100 scientists who study the future say that the U.S. will be a powerful nation in the world. <laughs> Where are your oh, manners, David? Oh, uh, oh, I'm sorry. Uh, that was uh, someone from Burger King. I had a little burp there. Uh, Continue. Uh, I hope you got ripped off, Saturday. David. Uh, no! Please. Higher or lower than 60, David? Uh, lower. Lower. The actual answer is... 40 is lower. David, okay. you it once again, and you have the 8. Do you want to keep or change? Well, I got to get rid of that snowman. Snowman becomes another snowman. Ooh. Not a very good change at all. I'm going to have to change. We need him. Higher. I heard higher. It's the king. Ooh. Uh, okay, uh, no. Lower than the king of queens. Lower for the first game of the match? It's an A! You got the first game of the match. They mm. need one more game to win $6,000 to get to play the money card. So, Alex, this is going to make or break for you. We're going to deal with the cards after you take time yeah. for these messages. Don't go anywhere. Right here on 2 this. What did it say? Wait, what did he say, Alex? Anyway, not click on another video. Um... I will click another video ASAP. Continue on. <laughs> that was so loud. Anyway. We are about to deal out the cards for game number two as David St. Dennis won the first game of the match. And David's going to get the first question of game number two. We asked one women. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> we asked one her single women. Which is... Anyways, he asked one her women. Anyways, we asked one her single women. Would you stay at a formal party even though they discovered they were wearing bedroom slippers? How many single women said yes they would stay at a formal par formal party even though they were wearing bedroom slippers? I'm gonna go in, in the middle of this one, fifty. 50 out of 100 single women say they stay at a formal party even though they discovered they were in bedroom slippers. Alex, higher or lower? Well, before I... Well, before I make my choice there, uh, since I heard that gong sound earlier, is this Million Dollar Sharks or is this Caesar's Challenge? I'm thinking he's thinking it's Caesar's Challenge. I think David's gone senile on his own. <laughs> Come on, Dave, we got to get your head checked. Yes. <laughs> All right, but in all seriousness here, um, I'm going to say my answer will probably be lower. Lower than 50. The actual mm. never seen one would say that you stay at a formal <laughs> party, even though I did discover that we were wearing bedroom slippers, is... 68, it's not lower, it's higher, David. Woo! Yeah, you've been dominating on these questions. Alex hasn't be, even been given a chance. Your opening card's a six, David. Higher. And the risk it higher. No! Oh, 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 back to your base card, and Alex finally gets a chance at his card, and he starts off with the three. Higher. Higher than that three of five. Higher. Higher than the five and eight. Only needs two cards to tie up the match, and Alex, you get the next question of game number two. 
We asked one of our male college freshmen, can a couple be happily married even if they never made love? How many college freshmen said, yes, a couple can be happily married even though they never made love in their life? I'm going to say about my 35. 35 out of 100 college freshmen said that they, a couple could be happily married if they never made love. They did. Higher. Oh, jeez. And the actual answer is... 37. Higher, David. Wow. You're getting good with these questions, David. What do you want to do with that six? You have control. Enter. Changing that to a five. A little better. Yes, that six card was a bit more uh, higher. Higher than the five and nine. <laughs> He's taking a chance. A three. <laughs> Uh, higher than that three, a oh, jack. Uh, no. For six thousand dollars in the match, it's a four. Woo! Congratulations, David. You just won yourself six thousand dollars. You get to play the money cards, and Alex, you got some nice fun gifts for you guys. Thank you for playing million dollar sharks. Thank you, man. Uh, we will be back for for the next. Season. Yes, we'll be delighted to have you here on the next season. And mm -hmm. David. You won six thousand dollars. Two seasons in a row. Yep. Mm. David was also here on last season, and this year he is determined to win a lot more money than he did the last season. Oh boy. David, if you won a million dollars, what would you do with it? Million dollars, I would uh, save a couple of the hundred thousands and also use the rest of it for our vacations. You got a smart plan there, David. Mm -hmm. did, you, did you cut the cards? Well, uh, I am not like the normal Harry who cut the cheese, so. <laughs> they will cut the cheese. Let's open the board to get to the big money card. What? If you watch this, um, Jordan, this is for you, or Jordy, from the um, Children of Joy, this is for you. But anyway, Dex, continue on. And you're going to be using that $6,000 to make high little wages, and you bet 500 increments. I'll explain that in a little bit. You start on the bottom roll with your $6,000, three cards on the bottom line, bet that as you wish. Move to the next level, we'll give you another fourteen thousand five hundred dollars and three more cards. Minimum bets are five hundred dollars. You can bet in five hundred dollar increments until you get to the top card, the big bet, where you must bet at least half your dollars, or you can just stop whatever you have at the last level. And if you get a duplicate, you don't lose. You just carry your bet over. Are you ready, David? Well, before I get started, I have one big snake, and that is do it for Bob Saget. Wow. Do it for Bob Saget. Let's give the man six thousand dollars. You could turn that six thousand dollars into a cool million dollars if you play your cards right. David, your opening card is a six. All right, uh, all of it higher. Wow, you're gonna keep that six and go all of it higher. That's a big risk there. Six thousand dollars higher than that six. No, it's a deuce. No, no. Unfortunately, you busted on that card, but. Don't worry, you're not out of it, because we're going to move to the next level, give you another 14-5, mm -hmm. and you got a card you can't lose. Mm-hmm. All right. Um, I kind of want to go... I, I didn't want to go for the checkpoint there at the first row, but let's go oh. all of it higher. All of it higher? It's a jack. $29,000 in the jack. Uh, let's go all of it lower, then. All of it lower. This is um, like mm -hmm. David B. Fowler's in the Mike my cards in style, man. To you on. Cards will hurt you. All of it lower. It's a three. Fifty-eight thousand dollars. I don't know about this, David. Let's go all the higher. Another double or nothing wager. Fifty-eight thousand dollars higher. A five. One hundred sixty thousand dollars. We move to the big bet. Do you want that? I'll, I'll change it. I must remind you. Must bet at least. You're not gonna dollars. change that five. I was on the turn of this card. A king! Now, do you want to keep your $116,000 oh, okay. before we go any further? Or, do you want to play? All the numbers. Nothing or $232,000 if this is lower than the king. Oh. Oh. oh, David, I thought you were going to have a lot of money this time. 
Mm -hmm. David, I am so sorry. You walk out of here with nothing, but for just being here, mm -hmm. we got some nice parting gifts for you backstage as well. Thank you for turning cards on Million Dollar Sharks. Mm -hmm. Well, that was a tough loss, folks, but yeah. nonetheless, we all had a great time here tonight. And I hope you enjoy next week's episode at the same time, same YouTube channel, where one contestant can turn a single card worth a million dollars. This is Alex Perth reminding you to please stay on the Million Sharks. Good night, everybody. If you'd like to become a contestant on Million Dollar Sharks, send us a request to the 25 Facebook page and sign up to join our 25 Discord server. All participants must be at least 18 years or older in order to play. So that was Million Dollar Sharks, Season 2, Episode 4. What do I think about this episode? I think it was amazing. So far, a tough loss. You know, Dave, if you watch this episode right now, it was a tough loss. But anyway, that was uh, just for you guys, episode number um, uh, 938. Hope you enjoy it. Stay tuned for the next one's going to be Spin for a Million, Season 2, Episode 4. Till next time, so just buy a piece of paper. We can watch the reaction guys be so till we say out. See ya.